Hi y'all, Ayla here. Welcome back to my channel. This is just a little hodgepodge sort of video. Uh, I've got several different things, a little haul from Dollar Tree and um, a wish, very small little wish haul. Something that I ordered from somebody that I'm really excited to share and a couple other things. I'm going to start with uh, this one which is from a girl named Nicole and if any of you watch uh, Melissa Unboxing Mom she had somebody once send her um, some jewelry for her and her uh, daughters and some earrings I just realized the earrings don't feel like they're in the bag oh here they are okay um, and so Melissa shared the link to her Facebook page and I went and checked it out um, at the time, I was unemployed. I'd been laid off already, so I couldn't buy anything, even though her, her um, the jewelry was $5 each. I'm kind of crooked there, aren't I? There we go. And so a company called Paparazzi, and um, so I messaged her or, or comment on something on her Facebook page that at the moment I am laid off, so I can't buy anything anyways, but I wear um, clip earrings. I can't wear pierced earrings. Um, she also has necklaces, and I think she may have bracelets as well, but everything's $5. So she, you know, looked through the inventory and saw that they did have clip-on earrings, so she started um, displaying some of those, and when I got a job, I ordered a pair. And I've had them actually for um, a week or so, and I've worn them several times, and I love them. And they came in this pretty little foil packet. And she sent me a, a sheet mask. And if you shave so, I like that. Um, sheet mask. And you all know how much I love sheet masks. And a little card. A pretty little card. Paparazzi. And then just a little thing about her. Um, her paparazzi by Nicole at gmail um, paparazzi by Nicole I think she may have changed the name on her Facebook page it's like jewelry by Nicole or something like that uh, I'll try to remember to put that in the description and you know paparazzi we have a thing for bling so now the earrings these are the earrings they are super super light one of my things that I really, really hate about not being able to wear pierced earrings is that I can't, I, I love dangly earrings. I don't like just studs. Which most clip-ons are like really small and all because you don't want heavy, you don't want drag. These are super light, super strong. I mean, I already feel like I'm not wearing earrings. I just, you know, I can barely feel that there's anything on my ears. That's how light they are. But I have danglies. <laughs> So I love them. I will be buying more. Um, again, I will um, endeavor to put her link. I know how to do links to other Facebook, I mean to other YouTube videos. I don't know if I know how to do a link to a Facebook thing, but I will try because I really want you all to be able to check her out. And I've been very pleased with the quality. Uh, shipping was like $3 or something. So these cost me like $8 and some change because of tax. But you know, I would have paid more. <laughs> let's just let's just be blunt. Um, yeah, for a pair of clip-on earrings that are super light and super strong, and yeah, and I'll be able to wear them with the necklace that came in Fat Fit Fun. I just realized that they're, they're both silver. So she was super sweet. Yeah, as soon as she knew that I needed clip-on, she went and found me clip-on. You know, and she asked questions. You know, like silver, or like danglies. So she really took what I wanted into consideration and found exactly what I wanted. I'm so happy. So there's that. Then I had a little bit of a wish haul. I actually have several things. Um, I think Lacey has taken them under the bed because they were here earlier and then I got up and went and got something to eat and I came back and now they're gone. But one thing she couldn't take was this. This big giant pillow. I love this thing. It was like $2. Um, I, think, I think it cost $2 and then shipping was $2. I also got it in a red and pink and purple colored one. That's one of the things that Lacey took under the bed. 
all that's in this is a comforter. This is where I, you know, it has a big old zipper and I just shoved a comforter in because it's just the pillowcase. But um, I just shoved a comforter into it and now I have this big giant yummy pillow. It really needs some more in it. It's so huge. But when you consider that this is a king size comforter, yeah, king size comforter just with room to spare. I'm in love with it. I can't wait to send my husband under the bed to get the other one. So I've got a couple more things that she did not take. This is something I'm looking forward to having fun with. It's a bunch of hair clips. I wear a lot of these. It's weird because these were labeled as kids, so I was expecting them to be much smaller. I was expecting them to be, look at this, you know, the size that I normally, oh come on, I have like dozens of them in here, yeah. No, I expected them to be this size. It's just a little hair clip, you stick it in your hair and boom, like that. <laughs> Remember, it, it said that these were for kids. This is how big it is. It's like huge. It's like the regular, the clip itself is even bigger, but then it's got this little extender bit. This here is for me to put um, a little paint or, or something in it. You know, those those paint pouring things that I was doing with the magnets and all. Do I have any over here? I don't know if I do. No. Nope, I don't because they're all in the thing. Where, and I, so when I did my craft show several weeks ago, those magnets sold really well. I sold them two for five dollars and I sold probably a quarter of my inventory and I had about I had over 200. So yeah, I was real happy with that. But so this is for me to put little paint things in. I'm probably going to have to get little gems, little clear gems to put over them, or maybe I'll just put um, self-leveling something, epoxy or something like that on it, I don't know. But yeah, there's a whole bag of them. There's 20 in here. Um, they were either free with $2 shipping, or it was a dollar and then a dollar shipping because it was $2. Happy with that, because I'll be able to sell those, hopefully, <laughs> if I can make them look pretty. Get back in there. And the last thing from Wish was this guy. I love pasta. When I get home from work, I'm usually very hungry, but um, I'm also usually very tired. Having you know, been working, walking for 12 so hours a day, I tend to be a little bit tired when I get home. So I usually just make like ramen noodles or, or something like that. And I don't use my eat, eat my ramen as a pasta. I mean, as a soup. I drain it and add cheese or, or meat or something to it and um, so this is perfect I'm probably actually if this works as well as I think it's going to I'm probably going to order some more of them because I just pour it in there and go it might even be microwave safe I don't know it doesn't say anywhere that it is so I'm not going to try it uh, but uh but yeah it was like two bucks may have been you know two dollars and two dollars shipping I don't look at anything that's over two dollars <laughs> I don't I just there's no need to so that was it for the wish haul next is a little bit of Target I don't, what were my husband and I in Target for I don't remember but as we were walking past headed up to check out I saw these Okay, you know, it's just Crayola 24 crayons. If y'all remember, I did a video where I break crayons up, put them into little molds, and make crayons, make Lego band crayons, and all sorts of other kind of crayons, Tardis, and you know, stuff like that. They wanted 50 cents. 50 cents for a box of 24. I have no idea why. These are usually like 2 or $3. And what's really cool is, as I mentioned, I make TARDIS crayons, I specifically focus on blue for TARDIS for obvious reasons. Anyone who's not a Doctor Who fan, TARDIS is the um, blue police call box that the Doctor uses to get around. But it came with five different shades of blue. So I bought every one they had. <laughs> and of course, since my husband works at Target, I got a discount, so they're actually um, even cheaper. They were like 45 cents a box. So, 
so I was happy and now I can't get them all back in. We'll deal with that later. So yes, yeah, so I got a bunch of those. And then, actually I have my Michaels thing in here because I went to Michaels, I had to get some uh, tape runner for my paper crafting. Had a 50% off coupon on my phone. If you all don't have Michael Rewards app on your phone and you, know, you shop at Michaels, you need to get that because while there was a 40% off coupon in the paper on the app for people who are rewards members, which is a free thing, there was a 50% off coupon. So yeah, I was very happy about that. Then I went to Dollar Tree and I bought this clip because I desperately needed a nice fat clip because even though my hair still isn't very long, I have a lot of hair and I really need it to stay off my neck. So there, it's a nice fat clip, I like that. And then I got one of these, it's a seven way nail buffer. I have no clue, I haven't even pulled it out yet, but uh, I am just, I mean, I'm rough on my nails anyway, but at work I, I'm picking things up constantly, grabbing it, tearing open boxes and all that kind of stuff. So I am, my nails are really be kind of roughed up a bit. So I thought I'd get one of these to try. It says it's got a coarse grit to shape the nail, medium grit to re medium grit to refine the shape, fine grit to smooth edges of nails, condition nail, smooth nail, nail buffer, polish, and shine. That's everything you're supposed to be able to do with this little guy. We'll see. And again, this stuff here, starting with this, all was at Dollar Tree. So it cost me a dollar. I got this. I haven't tried yet. It's a Sassy and Chic Kabuki Cosmetic Brush. This is the case it came in. Oh, it's a so, yeah, it could it'd definitely be a lot softer. It's, it's actually kind of rough. It's actually catching on my very rough fingers. Hmm. And it's actually using that. So, this, this might get used for something crafty instead. I might use this to like pounce on paper. Oh, wow, yeah, got well, already, <laughs> started looking all deformed. Yeah, yeah, this is never touching my face. <laughs> so, it was a dollar, yeah, whatever. I got these to give to my nieces. I probably should go back and get one more for my, um, I have two, this sounds sort of weird, my husband's family's a bit odd, mine is too, but... You know, my husband was born, and then five years later, his sister was born, and then I think, I'm not really sure how many years later Laura was born. That's his one and only cousin. Um, his father had one brother, and his mother had no siblings. And uh, so his uncle had one daughter. So there's just the three of them. So we refer to um, Laura's uh, daughters as our nieces. And they live here, you know, so we all socialize together and stuff. So I don't know why I only got two. I got one for my two, my husband's actual nieces, and I just didn't think to get one for Blakely. So I need to go back and get one for her because you can't give one to two and not to the other. Uh, they did only have the two patterns. So actually, um, they have cotton swabs in them, but they're all frozen. So quite cute. And then I got. That's the nail thing. The nail clipper fell out. Yeah, I don't know where it is, but oh well. It had a nail clipper in it, but I needed to get to this. Um, I bought this because I wanted this little thing here, this little brushy thing. Um, because my nails get so filthy at work. Every time, the first thing I do break is wash my hands. But I need to take this to work because I need to scrub under my nails because it's just, ugh. I don't know how they get so dirty. I, you know, whatever, but this is a uh, little um, pumice stone. I don't know if it's real pumice or not, but it works um, because I, I use this on my feet to kind of rub the rough areas away. And then it said it had a nail clipper, which is a, somewhere, I don't know. It was nice. It is a nice nail clipper. I've used it. I've not used these. These are for you know, painting your toenails which I don't really do, so, but hey, I could have gotten this 
by itself for a dollar, or I could have gotten all that. So of course I did. And that's it. The other thing was just uh, some mandates, which I got at Target. <laughs> that is my haul. My favorite thing, of course, being this. Um, just a, it was just a giant pillow cover that they recommended I might be interested in, and they were very right. I am absolutely in love with it. <laughs> it's really comfortable to sleep against. And what made me decide to get it was the reviews. Yes, I actually finally read reviews before buying something. And one person actually said that they just put old clothes on it. They, you know, you know, washed them, dried them, stuck them in the pillowcase. And I was just like, well, heck, I can do that. And then when it came, I was just like, I can put my... Um, comforters that I'm not using in there. Now what I'm going to do this winter, I don't know, because of course I'm going to have that have to come out. Maybe I will just grab dirty, not dirty, but grab old clothes and stick them in it. <laughs> yeah, super easy. You all have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>